going down to the reports on the left, closing up the ham boogie up top, scrolling down. We're looking for the reports that say, who owes you money? It says, who owes you? That typically we would be thinking, well, that's got to relate to the accounts receivable account because that represents who owes us money. So we got up top the major ones, accounts receivable aging detail, accounts receivable aging summary. This one is starred off, which would be applicable or appropriate given the fact that it's probably the most common one. The other ones in here, we've got the collection report could, and then we've got the uh, customer balance detail report. This one is like more of a straight sub ledger with detail. And then you've got the summary on that one. And then you've got the invoice list. The invoices are the things that increase the accounts receivable. So, so once again, it's kind of like a, another report that's given us more detail on the AR invoices and receive payment that's given us a little bit more detail and then you've got the open invoices which invoices being related to the increase in the accounts receivable if they have not yet been paid you would think the open invoices would then add up then in essence to what's in the the uh, accounts receivable statement list are the statements that we're going to give to our uh, our receivables or our customers from time to time and then the terms, and that's going to help us to fill out the form, unbilled charges, things that we have uh, put in a bill for and made it billable, but we haven't added to the invoice yet in unbilled time. Same thing. We enter time, but we haven't entered it into the invoice. So our major primary sub-ledger reports to the accounts receivable are these items, such as the customer balance detail. Let's look at that one first. I'm going to click on that one and scroll up and the range change i'm going to say it says all dates we'll keep it there run it holding down control scrolling up a bit now if i go back to the balance sheet notice that this report or this account like all accounts has a sub ledger or i'm sorry a, a general ledger if i click on it which is in essence a general ledger giving us the information by type we can see it goes up with invoices, down with payments. That's what we expect to happen in the accounts receivable. And this would be the transaction uh, report. This is a great report, but it doesn't give us the detail what, that we want, which is to break out the accounts receivable, not by date of transaction, but by customer. So that's what we're going to do with these other reports. Going back, scrolling back up a bit. And if I go to this report, this is giving us that data that is now broken out by customer. So if I go down to the bottom, the total is now at the 5,281.52, which should match the 5,281.52 over here. But given it by who owes us the money, that's important because we need to collect on the money. Now, in practice, we might not actually use this report as much unless we're trying to talk to like a, a meeting or a group or something like that, a presentation, because we would be looking at the same data internally by going, let's say, to the first tab and going to the sales area and closing up the hamburger. We could look at all sales transactions and we can sort this way and say we're going to sort by the open invoices uh, this way. So that can give us a list of the open invoices down below. We don't get that nice total, or we do get a total, 5281. And over here on the balance sheet, we've got the 5281. So even that gives us a nice total. So the report's like a little bit redundant because I can kind of find that information over here for internal you know, reporting purposes and to try to collect on the money from here. And then you can also do the same thing in the invoices tab where you could sort in that fashion. You can do a similar thing in the customers tab. If I was to sort for open invoices, for example, now I can see the customers that have open invoices and it'll list two invoices versus one invoice. This report doesn't give us that nice total, but this is probably where we would go in practice. So let's go back on over here. Uh, this report can also be useful to export and possibly create pie charts on or something like that you could you could break out which customers owe you the most money by pie chart and that kind of stuff which we might touch on in the future